How does it feel to cover Taylor Swift's world? When three journalists shared their stories, they revealed how the pop sensation has become more than an artist, she's a global phenomenon, shaping entire careers and rewriting pop culture. Taylor Swift's cultural influence has redefined what it means to cover a pop icon. As her era's tour wraps up the U.S. leg this November, her impact is undeniable, not only to fans but to the journalists who follow her every move. Longtime Swift chronicler Rob Sheffield calls it unlike anything else in pop music. After nearly two years on the road, the era's tour has united crowds in every city, transforming Swift's personal songs into powerful collective experiences. Sheffield explains, you're singing the loneliest song you've ever heard, and suddenly you're singing it with 60,000 other people. Swift's music isn't just pop, it's a community she's built through her vulnerability and storytelling. For some, following Swift is a niche profession, like Sarah Chappelle, who has tracked her fashion evolution on her blog Taylor Swift style since 2011. Chappelle sees Swift as one of the most savvy and intentional pop stars of the modern age, viewing each outfit as a visual companion to Swift's songs. When Swift released 1989 in 2014, signaling a shift from country to pop, Chappelle watched as her style evolved to match the music's new themes. Her recent book, Taylor Swift Style, Fashion Through the Eras, captures this journey, showing how each phase of Swift's career tells its own story. According to Chappelle, Swift's style always reflects her essence, no matter how much her sound changes. For Rob Sheffield, Taylor's music doesn't just follow trends, it transforms them. Since first hearing our song in 2007, Sheffield has seen her reshape pop music by empowering the young female fan. In his upcoming book Heartbreak is the National Anthem, Sheffield discusses Swift's groundbreaking influence, like her re-recordings of early albums to reclaim her catalog. After her masters were sold by Scooter Braun, Swift fought back by re-recording Fearless and Red in 2021, followed by Speak Now and 1989 in 2023. Swifty's support of Taylor's version releases demonstrates her success in embedding her life within her art and taking control of her story. Then there's Brian West, USA Today's first full-time Swift reporter, who's followed her career from massive stadium shows to unexpected political endorsements. West's assignment has taken him from reporting on the tour's economic impact to Swift's recent endorsement of Kamala Harris for president. When Swift made headlines for her romance with NFL star Travis Kelsey, West found himself learning football. Swift's unpredictable choices keep West on his toes, whether he's reporting from a concert parking lot or watching Singapore secure her for exclusive shows in Southeast Asia. Her legacy is still being written, he shares, believing Swift's story still has many more eras left to unfold. For these journalists, covering Swift isn't just reporting, it's an immersive experience. From witnessing her career milestones to documenting the vast impact she has on her fans and on pop culture, they know they're witnessing history. Swift's journey continues to inspire, reshape, and redefine the music industry and how we tell its stories. That's a wrap for today's video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let us know in the comments what you think about Taylor Swift's influence. And don't forget to subscribe to AU News for all the latest updates on your favorite stars.